Hey guys, Faith here. I'm going to be playing a little Dust, the Legion Tale. Um, I bought this game off the Steam Holiday Sale. Um, for an indie game, I'll say, I, I played this a little beforehand, this, before this recording, and I gotta say, for an indie game, um, probably one of the most fluid combat systems I've ever tried, I've ever um, played. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started here. Let's see. I'm just gonna start a new file here. Uh, for this, let's try, because I'm not going to go through this game too much, I'll just go for the hardest difficulty. Our world has fallen to fade, its great works long since complete, its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise? has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The okay, mob so this is me stood no right chance, now. and the soldier showed no mercy. So as you can see, the combat but system despite his victories, is very, very fluid. His skills, his ruthlessness. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. And from what you can see, the graphics are very detailed. Dust. Dust. Arise. What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Okay, so before we move on, um, I like this. I like how I like how detailed this, you know, this game is. Even right down to what, the conversation pieces, all very animated. Um, you can see the emotion in character when they talk. For this choice here, you don't seem like a guardian to me. I'm gonna be nice for this gameplay, so I'll choose this choice here. So, what is this sword? I am the blade of Ara. And you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Okay, so the game tells us to go east, which is bright, but seeing how we played enough games, we usually go the opposite way to check if there's everything. Um, if you could find anything. It didn't, and here we go. Found a treasure key. So I'm pushing tab here to jump into my inventory. Let's see what this key does. Single use key that can be used to open treasure chests and cages. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, whenever a game tells you to go one way, go the other way, and just 
look, see if you can find everything. All the little nooks and crannies, see if you find anything hidden. So you can tell the overall environment is very detailed, even the little old bunnies that you can see down there. The music, the soundtrack, the ambience, very nice. Very nice choice of sounds that they're using here. So we jump. Yes, um, I changed the default to um, suit my controls. Um, so this might not be the controls that you started with. So, d uh, so you have a you know regular melee attack, and you have a like a strong attack, your A button called the dust attack. So this is all you know, D, a D combo. You can mix in a dust attack in there too, such as that. It's gonna get more complex later. I, again, I like. Oh. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Fidget will alert you if there's treasure nearby, so you can tell what that bubble above her head when there's a treasure thing. You know, above her head, there's a treasure nearby. You can also pop up the map. From here, you could view explored areas within the current region. You could also get a sense of treasure within the immediate vicinity. So from the looks of this, we could we need to go right, because that's where our jet is, by that flag there. But we could also go down. Probably there's something down there. But for now, we're going to look right, because I think there's something to the right here. Again, what I wanted to say before, I like you know, the, the ambience, the overall, overall surroundings. I mean, look how detailed these bunnies are. Cute little bunnies, man. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to the right. Yeah, it's very, this game, it feels very polished. Like for an indie game, I'm really impressed. I'm very happy with this purchase. Okay, so I gained a new ability, so I could dodge now with Q and E. So you can dodge right and left. So again, the more abilities you gain, the more complex your fighting style will become. Here. It's pretty neat how every wall has like a wall, mysterious wall chicken. It's just gonna be used to, it's basically a potion. Um, found embedded in a wall for god knows why this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. Okay. Alright, so came across the treasure chest and remember beforehand we found a treasure key. So every key that you find will be used to open these chests. All right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. And as you can see from what I when, from that conversation, they basically repeated for what I just said. So here we're gonna open this treasure chest by pushing up. And we have this very unique um, way of opening chests. It's like a quick time kind of thing where you push up, left, down, and right, following what the command says right there at the right hand side. So I'm going to start it right here. Up, up, left, down, left, up. And there you go. Now, if you mess that up, it's not a big deal. You can always repeat it again. So don't worry about like losing keys because you failed or whatnot. I think we explored most of... Oh, I could go right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It looks like from the map I could go down, but apparently I go right from that point there. Again, very detailed environment. Look at the deer, the flowers. It's pretty crazy for an indie game. Again, for an indie game. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! <laughs> Do something! <laughs> no, again, I mentioned this before that, um... This game has pretty much the most fluid combat system I've ever played, so... You could, you could have a style of 
mashing button to be being very technical. about monsters strange where did i learn these skills you wield the blade of ara and with it all the skills imbued therein uh hello monsters is that why i summoned you to control this power it is unlikely dust that i would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons there is a village beyond these woods Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're gonna need them. So these feeble fruits, let's see here. Another way to increase your your uh, HP, besides the chickens, we also have these feeble fruit here. Not as much as the chickens, but it's at least something. I gotta remember not to fall around because I forgot I set this to the hardest difficulty. So, okay, so we reached a save point here. Push up, save the game. And depending on what your difficulty is, it could also restore HP, but I think in this case it's not. Yeah, one hit, I think I'm down to half of it. It's crazy. So throughout the game, the game's gonna teach you combos. So yeah, you have your basic melee. You can also mix in dust. Uh, if I could. There you go. Ow! Ow! Okay, so I died there, but I had a revival stone on me, so um, I was able to be brought back to life. Again, I should not be fooling around because I forgot I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So I'm gonna try to concentrate a little more. So there we go. Here's a combo here that, that'll mix in a uh, dust attack. If I can do it. There we go. to die. It's about time I should start using my chickens. Rising Phoenix, ground to air, so D and A, D and A. There we go. Oh, ow. <laughs> yes, you can also air dash in the air. You can evade. Just not sure if I could talk and stay alive at the same time. <laughs> oh. oh, this game's amazing. Holy cow. Down in A. Down in A and Aaron does a slam. And luckily, you can't hurt the bunnies in this game. Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, 
I'm performing an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Oh, well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <laughs> Every time I use my power, it will use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. So this is a way to start out a really good combo. Call out the dust and then call out the power. Call out Fidget's power with that. There you go, just like that. Okay, I don't know if you noticed there, I didn't get hit. That was a parry. Uh, you, you'll learn that move later on, but if you basically attack at the right point and hold the attack, you could call a parry and counter it. And then do a counter. Okay, I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna save here. So before I move on, um, so some of these monsters, they drop materials, which you can use later on, if I could pull it up here. Um, it could be used later on to create more stuff. Um, we're gonna, uh, as you move on through the game, you're, you'll see a, a vendor. And from the vendor, you can, uh, when you sell these materials, you could also use the materials to create stuff. So that's basically what that stuff that's dropping from these enemies are. So just try to pop that up one more time. So all this stuff here could be used to create, you know, items that could be used to help you uh, later on. Leveled up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Great, even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. 
Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. So this game also has an RPG-like element where you have stats and it can raise the stats for every level up. So, uh, for this playthrough, I think I'm just gonna go all attack, maybe. Um, that's gonna be my plan, but I may need more health later. But for now, let's raise up the attack here. Let's confirm the upgrade, and there we go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Use the chicken. Anything, sir? So what I like to do here normally is just start up with a dust attack and then follow up with a follow up with Bridget's projectiles there. Bridget or? <laughs> Bridget or whatever that flying navy wannabe is blanking out because I'm trying to concentrate now without dying. Let's see, did I get everything? I forgot. No, no, I actually did not. There is a wooden bridge that we could have jumped down right here. I don't have the key for this. There's the key. Put this up and see what we get. Oh, see if you mess up, it'll close up on you and you have to start over, but you will not use up a key. So that's one nice thing about it. Oh, we got a couple of cupcakes. Let's see, what do we have here? Let's so have some cupcakes, some load of nuts, and feeble fruit. I should be using up the feeble fruit. Maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. <sighs> I'm sorry oh, I got fidget. you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. <laughs> dust to dust, I think. So you're gonna have quests, as you just saw. Um, basically, we just have to go look for the village next, so... That's what that was. Oh! Wow, I did not see that guy there! <laughs> okay, uh, let's do this. Quick item, I'm gonna use these instead. I heal for too much. Very, very dumb mistake there. So 
yeah, with this combat system, you could go crazy, button mash, or it could be very, very technical. And this game will be very forgiving. Regardless of So yeah, with the counter, um, you'll stun enemies as well, so that's an added bonus to uh, doing a parry. Again, I'm gonna die. Okay, I said all attack. Nope, that's not gonna happen. I need, I need HP. Yeah, with the hardcore mode, if you fool around, it's, this game is not so forgiving. Chest here, and I oh shit, I did not want to wear it. So, yeah, every time you come back to an old area, the monsters will respawn, as you can see there. So that, that's one of the things I've been telling you about earlier, um, for the materials that you collect, you'll be collecting these blueprints. I don't know if it'll show here because I do not know too much, but you'll be collecting blueprints to create uh, certain items. from the map here I guess whenever we get to a location I don't know if you'll see here that this place used to have a big circle like this denoting that there was like a hidden area or a treasure chest um, so I guess that's how we'll, we can tell that we either missed something or if we got everything look at that, all the environments too this is crazy there's rain and look how detailed this rain is This game, again, very well well done, very well made. Well made? Oh, gotta get that. So what this does now is, we get to do an aerial with our dust attack like this. This will be good for... Starting out combos, trying to attack monsters, that would be a good starter.
up. We have three. We have three keys for this. This wall is reinforced with a powerful ally. Something explosive should do the trick. So we need a bomb of sorts. Now here's the merchant I've been telling you is about. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. <laughs> a merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's <laughs> talk to him. I like these cutscenes. They're so detailed. I've never seen such... Emotion being portrayed in just a cutscene like that. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? Okay, um, I have 900 gold. I really should buff up my defense. Now I'm dying so easily. I don't want one of those, but I wasted them earlier for falling around too much earlier. Also buy our, because we could also buy treasure keys if you need any extra keys. Also could buy materials here. For now, I'm gonna. Uh, before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here. As I'm sure you've guessed by now. <laughs> Once you've sold me a new vendor. material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. So before I buy anything, I'm going to see what I, if I have anything in my inventory that I could put. We do have a cotton vest, which I should have equipped earlier. No augments. We have a blueprint for the for the ring, but again, as I mentioned, we need the blacksmith for that. So I've got a pendant here. What pendant? Once I find keepsake, time has distorted this pendant. Let's equip that. So I have a couple rings and an augment. Let's see here. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. So let's see. Let's buy an augment. It's plus six attack. Get that. And rings. It's only 100 gold, so why not get two of them? Your transaction is most appreciated. Oh, that's right, I can also... Well, let me equip these first here. My whetstone here, so I get plus a six attack there, and my rings. Again, we're playing on the hardest difficulty, so I don't even know if this defense buff will help me much, but... I am here to serve. I also have these... Let's see, switch to cell mode. Okay. I also have these materials here. Um, so if you notice here, the things that he already has has a check mark right next to him. Things he does not have to do not. So, let's see. We sell one of these. So if we sell one of them, it will become cataloged and he will restock them. And so that next time we visit him, he may have them in stock. So let's do the rest. Let's do it for the rest of these. Also buy some chickens. I really should stock up on chickens. 
Your transaction is most appreciated. The materials oh, I just you sold, sold those me. chickens, didn't I? I also God damn thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Oopsies. I am Oh good, you can buy back your items. Well, that's pretty cool. Even though I lost money there, I'd need those chickens, so. No big. Your yeah, I know. transaction is Noobis mistake, but what can you do? I just got this game today. <laughs> Gold, I guess, from completing Here we go. Here's the bomb here. The bomb fruit. We're gonna use, we're gonna use A there. Use the dust attack to um, attract the fruit. Kind of similar. I don't know if you played the uh, Legend of Zelda games. You have that super bomb. Assuming this guy can follow me here. It's almost similar in that regard. That now we have a safe. But if I recall, there was another wall back there, so I'm gonna get that one too. So neat thing about this is you could go anywhere on the map, and not have to carry it along with you all the way. You could just go to another point and then follow the through here. Okay, maybe not that far of a distance, but it's pretty far. There's a notification at the bottom left that's saying the shops have been restocked. Got another chicken. I am in. Seek. I should get more cupcakes. Except I do not Your have enough money. Transaction. Thank. Gotta go up. Ah! Wasted so much gold. Quote unquote buying those chickens. Ah, so sick. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in the next scene. this game there's something in that cage quick get it out four locks I'll take a wild guess and say we need four keys okay, so we do have four keys so in addition to treasure chests there's also these cages here which I have not seen this one yet so I'm gonna open it here Super Meat Boy. That's cool. So, there's uh, cameos, cameos from other uh, indie games coming out in this game too. So we found Super Meat Boy. Um, apparently finding friends um, will also increase our health by about 5%. So pretty neat little feature here. Apparently there is another thing that could bomb here too. something there's like a passageway but we can't get through right now 
I think that may be another ability I need a lot later. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Ah, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. <laughs> Something's gonna go down here. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. Hmm. Ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things! Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counter-attack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. So if you notice me, I've used that technique before. Probably by accident a couple times, but yeah, that was the parry. Um, if you if you are able to initiate a parry, you will stun monsters. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet, but uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Something we may be reaching a boss fight pretty soon. So I used my chicken, I used my feeble fruit, I switched to the chicken for this, I got eight, and that should be hopefully good for the boss fight. Look! Please, help us! Oh shoot, okay. Ah! Look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Oh, that hurts. I couldn't dodge. Yeah, yeah. I ran out of meter, so I couldn't dodge. Ugh. Wow, one hit and I'm dead. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for a full meter here. Look! Please! Okay, I'm gonna skip this. We know what's gonna happen already. Don't worry. That hurts. Wow! Even full. Even on full. I mean, shouldn't have uh, lost that uh, revival stone. Shoot. Oh, this is gonna suck. Look! Can I skip. Can I skip? Skip the conversation. Skip it again. I think I'm gonna have to parry that big monster thing. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> yep. Parry's our key, apparently. No, wait! I'm gonna die. Oh, stats, 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 please, stats. Upgrades, yes. Oh, where do I want to do this? Attack? Or health? That's pretty good. 315. Save me. Probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And this was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <sighs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Took me two revives, but I took them That's down. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? <laughs> you, because you did jack shit while well, I died twice? And that's it, that's chapter one. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. Probably, yes, no. Well, I'll end it after this cutscene here. So new region has been revealed, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, overall, um, as you can see from this game, great, great combat, um, very detailed environments, uh, ambiance, sound, music, all up there. Um, even the cutscenes, very, very emotional, very detailed, which I liked. Um, yeah, I'd say if this game was ever on sale, if you guys, or if this game is on sale right now, you should buy it for a good, you know, for an indie, again, for an indie game. This. Is, a very 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 good game 
I can't say anything, you know, more than that, but yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this game and trying it out. Alright guys, uh, thanks for sticking around, even though I sucked near the end, again, we're, I, even though I was playing on hardcore, there are no excuses, I shouldn't have died, but anyway, uh, this is Fate, uh, hope to see you next time. Hey, see ya!